have company today. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. As we said, this is um, part two. Um, it was a lot last week, and uh, we didn't get to share as much detail, but today we're going to go into a little bit more of our treatment and our training. So this is where um, Teresa and I had the privilege, and Andrea did too. Uh, we were kind of split up. Um, but we didn't get a picture of her with her hands-on work at the at the beehive. So this is um, um, helping to start preparing the burgers for the oven. And Teresa actually, once they were done, was able to they were able to show us how the proper way that they wanted us to store uh, what they call the beehive burgers. Hydrotherapy. Um, Hydrotherapy can be divided into two parts. Hydro equals water plus therapy equals treatment. It's defined as the external use of water in the medical treatment of certain diseases. Hydrotherapy utilizes water in any of its three forms, solid, liquid, or vapor, in the treatment of disease or injury. Treatment indications. It prevent or shorten colds or flu, relieve congestion, diminish pain anywhere in the body, relieves fatigue, and nervous tension. One of the ways that we learned was with a hot foot bath, a local bath which covers the feet and ankles. Temperature should be in the range of 100 to 115 degrees, no higher than 102 for diabetics. Um, and then on the other side, the person is wrapped to keep warm and a cold pack on their head. The most important of all is to pray for healing of the condition. And Teresa's gonna to talk just a little bit more about the hot foot bath in her own words. Um, I had the opportunity of doing the hot foot bath on Clarice. And um, the first thing that I really had to do was um, you know, se secure the water. Well, first we had to put uh, like a placid on the floor and put, um, you know, a um, towel over the placid. We had to, uh, you know, get water, you know, in a bucket, which was like 104 degrees. And uh, you set the individual in the chair and we had to take and well, I had to wrap Clarice with, uh, two different towels, and I, um, you know, was put a foot in the, uh, you know, in the, um, the, the bucket. And uh, what I had to do was I put a cold compressor on her head, and I had to keep checking uh, the water to make sure, well, after the water was 104 degrees, then I took the water up to like 108 to 114, so I had to put my hand in the bucket and, you know, just kind of push the water around to make sure the water wasn't too hot for her feet. And after that, she was able to sit, and I had to put a cold compressor on her head to keep her head, her head cool. And she was able to sit, well, she had to sit in the uh, hot water for about 30 minutes. And then after that, I ended with uh, cold water that um, I took her feet out of the bucket and poured cold water over her feet. And um, that was the procedure for that. And, dry, and after that, I dried her feet off uh, really good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you, Teresa. Uh, of course, that's where the reverse in the pictures I'm doing Teresa, but it was the same concept. <laughs> um, this is about uh, fomentation, and um, we're trying to kind of speed things up, so I won't read everything on there, but basically fomentation is for um, helping with pneumonia, bronchitis, coughs, arthritis, all those different types of things that are listed there. And it's used primarily with hot towels 
in the various areas on the body um, that needs to be treated. And Andrea is our model here. Andrea is gonna talk briefly about um, charcoal and as well, and then the next one, um, a little bit about the cabbage. Okay, I'll start with the charcoal. With the charcoal, uh, we mixed it with comfrey and we made a poultice out of it. And it's to be used for, say, for example, someone had a sting bite or a snake bite, and you would apply it directly to the person's skin. And Sister Ziesner gave us an example with uh, a husband and wife. A husband had been bitten by a snake, and the wife, uh, she knew to make the poultice, and she would apply it to his snake bite, and she would also have him to drink some charcoal. So she had to keep interchanging that, and he was um, healed. The poison was removed for, from him. Um, with the cabbage wrap, what we did was lay out a plastic uh, saran wrap, and then we would grab a leaf of cabbage, and we would cover the cabbage up with the saran wrap, and we'd get a rolling pin. You can use maybe a can of soup or beans, and something just kind of heavy and round. And what you do is roll it over the cabbage leaf, and you open up the membranes. Mm -hmm. Once you're done doing that, then you open up the saran wrap and put the cabbage directly on the area where you have the pain. And you leave it there for, you can leave it there for say 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And I have actually done that since I have been home. My arm had hurt, was hurting me one day and I did and I kept it on and it removed the pain. I even um, did it on my brother who has a knee, knee pain. So he said it helped a little bit, but I told him he needs to continue to keep doing it, which he has not unfortunately. But also, Sister Zeman said, if you do have a lot of pain, then you need to watch your diet. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, he eats a lot of sugar. So mm -hmm. that is his weakness, and he's not ready to give it up yet. So mm -hmm. please pray for him. Amen. Okay, briefly, we did some cooking, uh, learning different recipes um, that we were able to take part of that um, ingredients that we made up. And we have what they call the supper club that night. And we were able to be a part of that as far as our ingredients and what we help cook. Some of the other areas that, um, of learning that we won't get into today, maybe at another point in time, we'll get into more details about our herb station and all the different herbs that she has there and what they are about. We also learned the techniques of doing foot massage. And uh, we'll talk about that at another time as well. So this is my little added bonus um, from last week when I was giving my testimony. This nice soaker jet tub was also part of my treatment to help me be able to learn how to ability to gain my walking again. So just remember a joyful heart, what? It's good medicine. It's good medicine. Keep your heart joyful at all times. Thank you.